So I was having a beer at the Las Vegas airport bar at 10 o'clock in the morning when the guy next to me told me something I'll never forget. Las Vegas wasn't built on winners. What he meant was all the money required for all that infrastructure and multi-billion dollar construction projects came from the gambling losses of its visitors. In other words, this town thrives off of people who lose money gambling, or losers who make poor decisions. And people with gambling addictions are likely to be addicted to other stuff that Las Vegas thrives on and advertises as well, such as alcohol and other things. I mean, right when you get off the airplane and wait for your baggage, you can gamble right away. It's just thrusted upon you even at the airport. And the cabs are smeared in ads with a library of casino brochures in the back seat for you to take. So although people who lose at gambling are funding Las Vegas, there are a lot of positives too that people gain despite these losses. For example, it's home to some of the world's best nightlife restaurants, and there are a lot of free things to do, like check out the Bellagio Fountain Show or see the Bellagio Conservatory. You could literally walk around and just explore all day without spending any money and check out this promenade by the Link Hotel, for example. There's a lot of unique architecture and themed hotels that are fun to explore and just walk around and that you can check out without spending any money. The Margarita Rooftop Bar was nice, as there was no mandatory gambling. There are also escalators and walkways all over the place, so you never have to cross the street street and you can walk around with a drink in your hand. There are also some interesting craft beers you can find. There's a lot of local Las Vegas beers that I tried and there's some shopping you can do too. So there's a lot of other things to do than gamble. So is Las Vegas just for losers and should you visit? Well, sadly, I think financially speaking, 80% of the revenue is coming from 20% of the gamblers who are addicts and just can't stop themselves. However, if you do gamble responsibly and are aware of this, and you realize that if you gamble, you're gonna lose maybe 50 bucks an hour, but treat it as entertainment and you'll be fine. I would also suggest planning and budgeting your complete visit other than taking it one day at a time as I did. Otherwise, there's not much to do than gamble and lose your money. And with that, I've never been happier to board a Spirit Airlines flight out of this place. Thanks for watching.